What's going on you guys? My name is Mike. This is Wall Street Traders where we break down hot trading stocks for you at advantage on the market. Guys, so this is the last stock that I'm breaking down this morning and it is naked or ticker symbol NAKD. Uh, the reason why I'm only doing four stocks today uh, is because I'm going to try to go live. I'm going to start this new challenge. It's going to be the $2,000 to $10,000 penny stock challenge. So I'm going to make a video about that a little bit later because we finally hit 2,000 subscribers, you guys. So that means I got to start taking this more seriously. I got to get new equipment. I got to get a new backdrop. All this good stuff, you guys, coming to Wall Street Traders. So if you're not part of the community yet, please, please join, you guys. It's a lot of fun here. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in. We're up almost 3% for the morning. Uh, we closed yesterday almost uh, down almost 3%. So let me just go ahead and uh, go over the support and resistance lines that i have already set uh, up here is our major resistance line and down here is our major support line but on the opposite side of down here it used to be resistance you can see that we came up got rejected came up got rejected ultimately this engulfing uh, engulfing candles that came all the way up to our major resistance once it broke past resistance it'll work as a floor you can see that it came up bounced off this level bounced about three times till we came underneath try to create a breakout over here failed came up came back under tested resistance tested resistance and ultimately failed and pushed us back down underneath this uh major support line which now it'll work as resistance and but we had broke past that and i told you guys if we wanted a clear confirmation that buyers are stepping up that we would have to break past this major resistance line which we did we broke past that you guys we are above this trend line now the rsi looks good it looks over it looks a little overextended but i told you we needed to fully confirm for this to uh be a perfect buy setup is for us to pull back down into the uh support line so like i said we broke past the resistance now we need to come up like i said and come back down and retest that floor that floor being at the 56 or 50 cent level that would be the uh, better entry and then you set your stop loss underneath these candlesticks over here that being at the 45 cent area you don't have to have it that low you can have it um around the 49 so the 50 cent area would also be okay but you always want to give yourself a little bit of wiggle room just in case there's a candlestick that breaks below and doesn't ultimately tag you out uh it, for it to go higher but um, yes, we want this stop loss just in case if we do break below this, that'll, uh, that would basically tell us that uh, buyers are no longer stepping up and that we're continuing this downward trend. Okay, so, but as of right now, what we can see since we broke past this resistance that we have relative, relative strength and that buyers are trying to step up and try uh, trying to create a reversal or in other words, this upward trend. Okay, so getting in right now at this moment in time would be really, really aggressive. Can it be done? Yes, but more than likely, like I said, we are going to pull back down to this major support line before anything. So if you were to get in, uh, let me go down to the one hour chart so we can be more specific. Uh, you can even tell on the one hour chart that we're starting to pull back. Uh, we're creating lower lows. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, even right now, I can't even say as an aggressive entry, you could get in right now because we are below this trend line on the one hour chart. So it doesn't make sense to get in into something in a downward trend. So we want further confirmation, you guys, around the 57 cent area would be that initial entry or your target. So ultimately, right now, we're just waiting for further confirmation. Let me go back to the daily. But yes, yeah, so as of right now, um, if you had got in, like I said, right here when we were resting on this candlestick, uh, that would have been a good entry to hit this first target up here at the 70 cent, 77, 77 cent area, excuse me. And that would have been a good trade. But now we are pulling back. And we're going to confirm this upward trend okay so i hope this video helped i like to make these videos as fast and efficient as possible for you guys uh please hit that like and subscribe button like i said we finally hit 2,000 subscribers it means a lot to me you guys uh but other than that i hope you guys have a beautiful day and happy trading